amazing to watch that uh, Andropov uh, 124 uh, take off. I mean, we, it's such a busy day here at the airport. Uh, we've got uh, one plane on the ground, one that just took off, and, and one that will be landing uh, soon. And to have three Andropov 124s here in, in Edmonton on the same day, uh, and two other uh, freighter aircraft are also coming in today, is just uh, another validation of our, our air cargo strategy. You know, Edmonton is becoming more and more known as a North American air cargo gateway. And we've uh, invested a lot of time and strategy, strategy and uh, energy on being that air cargo cub, uh, air, 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 air cargo hub. And the, the reason we're a hub is, uh, is we have all the logistics elements that uh, make us special. One is we have this circumpolar route, which means that here in Edmonton, we're the closest uh, to Asia in terms of flight time because of our the circumpolar route. We also have an inland port, uh, and that inland port uh, means that we have a foreign trade zone. We're the closest uh, for rail as well, because if you're if, from Asia, if you have an ocean freight and you land in Prince Rupert, the first major city that gets the rail stop from Prince Rupert is Edmonton. So those goods can come here and then we can transship them anywhere in the world. We also have Highway 2 that goes all the way to Mexico and we have this wonderful, uh, 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 Shell has this two, uh, two million liter uh, fuel tanks here so that we can uh, fill up these uh, planes with uh, fuel to get them uh, back up in the air. So we're really excited about all this and we've seen this continuing growth with air cargo particularly uh, this year, uh, even uh, with the downturn we have with the uh, pandemic, our air cargo numbers are up, even though globally they've been down. So we're very excited about all this.